Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into this. This is a general reading for all signs. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get right into this. Two overall energies for my beautiful collective, please. Okay. Oh my gosh, feeling in like this delay, feeling like um, treading water, feeling like you're idling in one spot, feeling trapped, feeling like there's no place to go. <laughs> that energy is over, okay? We have the thorns that came out first, okay? So the thorns is feeling like you've been held back in one place, all right? But the sun is coming out, <clears throat> Maybe you're placed there for a certain reason. I feel like you gained a lot of lesson. You gained a lot of wisdom working your way out of these thorns. Okay. It was like a divinely guided time out. <laughs> but I feel like you learned what you needed to learn. Okay. And um, that energy is coming to pass. But it really grew you. Like there was some sort of transformation that was happening in these thorns. Like I said, it was like you were a, like in a spiritual ascension mode or <clears throat> there was definitely some sort of transformation that took place, but it took place for the for the best. Okay, let's get into it with the Kipper. What is this thorns and um, why is the transformation card here? You could be dealing with the Scorpio with the death card, okay? And then you could also be dealing, I feel, uh, Pisces energy. I, I believe this would be the hangman in the Rider weight. Okay, we have thorns in the death card. Okay, so then we have false person. Okay, maybe you are being deceived by somebody that you really cared about. And it kind of puts you in your feels. It kind of puts you in isolation mode. Because I feel like this is something that hurts you, okay? Somebody that you really thought, um, like, you really thought this relationship was going someplace with, like, the eight. The, the eight represents abundance, as you can see, there's somebody in the back here that has a mask on, okay? They were hiding something, and you found out about it. All right. What is this person hiding? Or what was this whole deal here with the false person, thorns, and death? Okay, we have community. I'm feeling rumors. Let's see, false person, false person in your life, false person in your community. This is a group of people that may have been judging you and put you and like you decided to like isolate yourself or these are people that are like blacklisting you because of a rumor or there's something, I don't know, there was something false going around the rumor mill. And it kind of was holding you back, keeping you stuck. It says false community. Either there's like some sort of false person in your surroundings that is trying to cause endings in your life. And trying to keep you stuck. 
or this is something going like something was said about you going around in your community okay we have unexpected income and we have the wealthy man okay we have the scorpio here again with the 13 unexpected income somebody's going to come in and try to um somehow make the situation better Oh, but well, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is this rumor going around about this person? Okay, we have the death card here again. So something is over. Something is over. This rumor is over. That's this is why you're able like to transform. Why did I feel with like the unexpected income and the wealthy man and then like this false rumor? Why do I feel like somebody I don't even want to say it. Like somebody is like a okay, I'm going to say it. Like um Somebody's a prostitute, okay? Somebody gets paid. Okay, whatever. And it's a total, complete lie <laughs> that um, was started by somebody in your community, okay? Somebody that's jealous, somebody that's hateful, somebody that's vengeful, and somebody that wanted to have some sort of control. So if they put this out in, in, in the community, then maybe no one else would want you or, you know, they would, this community would form an opinion of you and um, keep you stuck and unable to move. But I feel like people are seeing the truth. Like, this rumor is being put to death, okay? Like, it's just, like, it's, you know, it may have had a little life at one point. Um, but something that you're doing is really changing uh, how people view you, giving people the real story. <clears throat> and, and it's allowing for this transformation, I expect something really, really positive once you emerge from these thorns, okay? I feel like somebody also wants to apologize for buying into this rumor for as long as they did, okay? It's like, you know, really, <laughs> I mean, it's really no surprise, but, you know, when just people sink down to that level. All right, another one. Uh, let's get into it with the tarot. Well, let me see if I can find something in here. I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. What was going on? What was the rumor about my collective? Something was being passed around. And I feel like what it what, what I was saying. Unblock me. Thorns when you're blocked and you're like you're in the thorns, okay? Unblock me or what did I else did I say? I said blacklisted or you know 
excuse me, it says, I miss you. I want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak. I have a lot to say. Okay, another one. You may have found the source <laughs> to wh whoever put you in the thorns and, and like you had to close yourself off from them. You had to cut them off. You know what they did. And now they, they want to come back in after a betrayal. Okay, this is what I'm getting from that card. Another one. Ooh, focused on my money. We have the wealthy man here. I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. Oh, okay. So the other rumor possibly could be that like you're a gold digger. Or, you know, like all, all the only thing you care about is money or something like that. Okay, it says the future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Okay. <laughs> also, what did I say? I said that somebody may have fell for this rumor in the rumor mill. They, they, they considered you, okay? They wanted to move forward. They wanted to start a relationship with you. But somebody in your community got in their ear and said all sorts of negative. Said a bunch of neg negative things to this person. And I think this person knew them more than they knew you. So they kind of went. And they know that that wasn't the right choice for them to make. So you kind of like held a grudge against your person that you're supposed to be with or <clears throat> and like I said, they want back in after doing like after a betrayal. Okay, and then it says my dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so there's like a, diff a few different energies. <clears throat> like I said, the person that may have started this rumor, like didn't want anybody to, they were trying to uh, be, be very seven of swords, okay? Being very, um, trying to block out the competition pretty much, okay? Starting this rumor and um, creating all this like propaganda about you just so you wouldn't be approached. So it's kind of like they put you like in like this, this, this area where people, you know, couldn't reach for you. If they, if they were to reach for you, th they'd get, you know, stuck by the thorns. And it's this this male that has their eye on you. Do you remember this card? This is one of the first cards. Okay. There's somebody in your community that has a strong feeling for you, but they don't have the courage to approach you the right way, but they want to make sure that nobody else approaches you either. So they started this rumor about you. Okay. And you're like, and it made you stuck. It kind of had you in the thorns. But in the thorns, as you can see, all these little light sources, that's where the magic happened for you, okay? So you transformed out of this rumor, out of, the, you know, you put this speculation, this propaganda to a close. Like people can see for themselves, like what the real story is now, okay? Let's get into it with the tarot. Okay. More for the situation. 
And now you're about to have like this, like you're going to, I feeling like wheel of fortune energy big time where, like I said, at once you were in the weeds, but now you're going to be at the top of your game. You're going to be like at the top of the wheel. I'm feeling wheel of fortune energy. Okay. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> the knight of swords. The knight of swords is, is, is blunt communication. It's harsh communication. It's regarding communication. It's it's like a rumor that was around the rumor mill. But it was all started by this masculine, okay? This knight. This guy that's lurking in the background that has this crush on this feminine. Or vice versa. You know, change the energies. And um, they weren't ready or had the courage to approach this feminine. Started some drama. Started a, an ugly rumor. An ugly lie. And um, you felt isolated from your community. But this is exactly, um, like I said, Seven of Swords is strategy. This is what this person wanted. This is what this person was hoping for. But you're just, you're, you're, you're just too um, spiritually protected, spiritually enlightened. You're just a beautiful person that... Even though somebody tried, I mean, this is what they do for with people like that, you know, people try to have it all for themselves, trying to, they tried to cage you, okay? That looks like a cage as well. But you broke free. And you broke free because you're the light. And... All the darkness in the world can't put out the light of even the tiniest candle so in the end they're gonna they're gonna suffer the consequences all right this is what i'm getting <laughs> yeah they know that they did wrong they want they they feel like they they want to come in and apologize they want to surrender <clears throat> they see that you're very loved and you're very supported they're seeing that they're, they're, whatever they try to do is, is not taking root. And now, like, they're on, like, on the opposite end of, like, this love spell, okay? Because I know I said root. Um, now they're on the opposite side where they're thinking about you nonstop and really feeling this loss because I don't think you're ever going to give this person a chance after what they did because really they really tried to cage you and you're a free bird you're a butterfly okay <laughs> all right so I'm hearing plot twist <laughs> okay plot twist oh my gosh Aw, all right. All right, see? They felt this draw to you and try to create all this illusion and delusion here with the Seven of Cups because they wanted you to be their twin flame. They wanted you to be their connection, but they were too much of a coward to come forward and claim you the right way and do what they had to do. So they, like, admire you from afar. This is like a, like a, a, like a little stalker. Um, <clears throat> so they created this, this is the seven of cups. Also, it says they're dreaming about you that this is also the card of being, you know, of dreaming, but this is also the card of creating illusion and confusion and delusion all because look at what's in the center of the card, a red rose that symbolizes love that symbolizes a love offer. They did not want anybody coming to you with an offer. They know how valuable you are. They know what you, you know, the person you really are. And they tried to tell everybody the opposite, okay? And whoever would believe them. But there's somebody that outranks them, okay? This wealthy man that, that is smarter, that is more charming, more cunning, and I believe that might be the person or that's the energy coming towards my collective. 
okay? Somebody that's worthy of you, somebody that's worthy of your time, and somebody that's actually your connection. And this person is going to be in a, uh, is going to be crying a river because they messed up big time. All right. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time I upload a video. All right. Till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.